So what do you get when you get a Remic microphone? Well, you get these guys. So you can see here's the green one, here's the red one. They come in these nifty little boxes. There's even a picture on the back that shows you how to mount the uh, microphone on the instrument. So the red, of course, is the studio version. The green, of course, is the uh, live bass version, the 5400 LB. Uh, so let me show you what else happens here. So you open up the box. I know I promised I was going to do an unboxing kind of thing, so at least I didn't open up the actual box, but check this out. So you get the cool little case, and if this isn't enough, then you get a nice little pouch right here, okay? And the pouch holds the microphone. Now you're probably wondering, what does the microphone look like? It's really cool. This is the microphone. That's all it is. This little nifty little foam guy right here. The microphone unit is in there. You can see that there's one of the capsules or the capsule pointing outward, and then there's a little hole there that uh, I guess leads to the capsule pointing inward. This guy right here is an anchor. Now let me show you how this guy uh, mounts up onto your base. Oh yeah, one more really cool thing. So the handling noise. Uh, a lot of uh, studio cats talk about handling noise. How how loud is the microphone when you're moving it around? This is the cable looks like a shoestring. It like weighs absolutely nothing. There's going to be very little weight on the actual instrument itself. So this is the live version. The, the red, uh, Remick Red version is pretty much the same thing. Um, slightly different capsule on the inside, voiced a little differently. You'll hear that. So let me pick up my bass here and I'll show you how it mounts up. So here's my old German girl. Take this little foam wedge thing right here. Mounts up real easy. So you, can, so you know, if you're on the road and you have to use different bases, but you still want that good microphone sound, it doesn't weigh anything. So you can put this in your carry-on, you can put this in your overhead. You might have to add, answer some questions with the TSA, but that's it. While I was talking, it mounted in there. Check this out. So this little anchor guy goes right here and holds the microphone in place. Use the pressure of the fingerboard onto the top plate of the instrument. Mounts right up like that. You can tighten up just a little bit. Creates a really nice little seal to the top plate of the of the base. And you just take this little shoestring, which is the actual cable, bring it around back. Just goes right behind the instrument like that. Now if you're uh, an audience member and you're thinking, wow, that bass sounds incredible. I don't see anything on it. There's no, you know, I, I have a pickup on this guy, but you don't, you don't really see the cable running from the instrument. It's dark, it's, it's a black shoestring looking thing. And the microphone itself is underneath the fingerboard. It's picking up the vibrations here, and what I'm really digging about is it's picking up a little bit of the fingerboard noise too. I don't have it plugged in at the moment, but you get the idea. You'll hear plenty of that. So it's getting a lot of great sound, plus there's another little portion of the capsule is pointing downward, so it's picking up sound off the top of the plate. It's picking up the vibration of the top plate, and then it's picking up some of the vibration from the fingerboard. It's pretty much all the things that you need to get the double bass sound in completion. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's all it takes to mount the sucker onto your bass. Pretty cool, huh?